The solution to our sanitation problem is a collective responsibility. I think the approach has been that we've been looking up to government to solve the problem. So whenever sanitation issues come up, figures are bandied about. We need $730 million to solve the problem. If attitudes don't change, we won't even solve it with a hundred billion US dollars. So I think it begins with attitude not change, the little things. So this is perhaps the most important conversation we should be having now. It tells on our development, it tells on our status in the world, and it's something that the Media General Group really uh, has shown class in embracing. My name is Sedem Sylvester Ofuri. I'm the Corporate Affairs uh, Manager here at Media General Group. I am totally in support of this campaign to rid the country of filth. Welcome back, and our sanitation company is on. Meanwhile, happy birthday to you, Rebecca Dueje of Nationwide Technologies, from your husband, Obi Ade. Happy birthday. Live long, and if it's yours as well, we love you. Senior Bright. Ah, yeah. interesting, interesting uh, how we are digging out the field one after the other from different locations. Uh, John, I'm just hoping that, you see, the, we can play our part, okay. but if we do not get those involved, mm -hmm. those who, who have the power to enforce the law, mm. to, to take what we're doing mm. and then carry it along, mm. we might do this and end and come back to square one. Exactly. Um, I'm hoping that, of course, this campaign is not ending today, not tomorrow. We're getting all the local assemblies mm -hmm. on board, but we want to see that commitment. What, f what is lacking is a commitment to do to get these assemblies to enforce the very bylaws right. why they are there as assemblies. Exactly, I, and I spoke with the mayor of Accra after I had done the, uh, the story yeah. on the Kole yeah. Lagoon mm -hmm. and the Odo River. I spoke with him and I put you know, the questions to him. I asked him, for example, why would drag masters uh, dig out the silt mm -hmm. and put it on the side of the door? He said, well, it's to let the water drain. Right. But it's not supposed to be there for more than a day. And we have seen days where sometimes the silt sits there for a whole week. Mm. I mean, there's a, 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 a heap of silt now sitting there. So I asked him, he said, well, that's unacceptable. It's not part of what they asked them to do. So mm. he will check it. Then I asked him about the fact that the, uh, the sorting site at uh, the Kolebu Junction, right. where the people bring in their refuse, they take out the plastic, and then they take the waste further down. He says, well, they wrap the, the, the plastics and then they put it by the roadside. He said, that is also not supposed to be there. I said, Chief, but you know these are not supposed to be there. Uh, and yet, he, uh, I mean, that's the key <coughs> thing. Uh, so the assembly would always complain about the fact that they don't have the resources to go check. I mean, the, the issue of the, uh, is it the marshals? Yeah, that the president yeah, 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 about? sanitation it, marshals. Is, is there them yeah. gone? I mean, nobody is talking about it, and yet the president spoke about well, it. Well, they were told they'll, they'll come in July. Who July? Next month? Yes, next month, well, July. Uh, next uh, month, uh, July. So uh, we're, we're hoping, and, and I, asked, I asked him about the Kali Lagoon Ecological Restoration Program. Mm -hmm. He said it didn't start well, mm -hmm. and, and, and nobody's explaining why and, and we don't have money uh, to do this, even though the very first tranche of money was released for this to be done. Anyway, let's go to the Ashanti region because it's disheartening while other countries are making a lot of money generating energy uh, from solid and liquid waste. Others like Ghana uh, decide to throw rubbish all around. Ibrahim Abubakar is our Ashanti regional correspondent. He's been touring the metropolis, finding out uh, what the state of some drains are in that metropolis. Take a look at this. By local authorities to raid the city of filth. Heaps of refuse are left uncollected in some areas, whilst gutters and drainage are mostly choked with plastic and other waste materials. Now we are currently standing at the Abuabo storm drainage. The storm drainage was covered with waste and silt, leading to flooding in the area when we visited the site last month. Although the drainage looks a bit clean now, pockets of refuse are still left at the banks of the drainage. Residents continue to dump their refuse here because they claim 
they do not have a dumping site. Uh, sanitation there, you have no problem, Kaksi. Uh, I say, I to share a line more. Bola for Nadia, then any one who took a Yugo Pelin Pa, no credit. You are born more dear and MC, no, or born more dear or Tim or Timuno, not for free ever be good. And we'll be out what the boy, a bobo ye be so on now, or a penu, you go a yaga, a unity sanitation day, a problem. Community Nankasa, a dear no more ye, because I will say a bobo ya for me be a bit too good. A dear no more as any way I move and make sure, say. Ebum. Se un moto kia we. Aye jina we. They say what time on? In so bad to a. No way then. No way be a gum. Eti ama onabo ali do MC. Why why you crophobi? Ah, omu monitor. Omu be sadi na na ya chomo. Ya free police wa ma ya chomo. This is the current state of the subin drainage around the Asafonio plant station. Most traders. Passers by and close by residents have turned the drainage into a dumping site. They deposit their waste here, whilst others are also seen defecating in the drainage. The drainage has been choked for months, yet traders ply their waste next to the filth, unconcerned about the health implication. Some frustrated residents have been sharing their concerns. Uh, there, there ought to be uh, a due diligence on this issue because uh, as I came here, uh, it, it's been a, a three, three months time I, I work for this entity and uh, I've observed that uh, the boys who live around here used to uh, dump refuse in this uh, gutter, which is not good. So I'm um, appealing to the authorities who take charge of this uh, enclave. There ought to have been a uh, due diligence on this uh, matter because if it will control like this, each and everyone here will, I mean, get, I mean, uh, uh, sick or uh, illness. Mbara mo ton fish, ewo ko kusto kusto fono. Omo de mama bola ka akono, omo de suma suma, unkulabi wa omo five five cities, omo be shi bola na ere, atu agua, ama hati ma hati mi soni kumbane, eh kumbi biamba, ere unton tumne yare unkwa na ere, eba yako kaswa, omo chile se. The Akotia Light Storm drainage also looks clean when we visited the scene. This same area was choked with plastic and other waste material, preventing the free flow of water. But with the onset of the rains, we can see that all the plastic material or plastic waste have been washed away. City authorities need to tackle sanitation issues from both domestic and commercial places to ensure the country achieve the sustainable development goal six of ensuring availability of sustainable water and sanitation for all by 2030. Ibrahim Abubakar, TV3, Kumasi.